new from Maison Smelly. Inspired by the Aqua de Palma Blue Mediterraneo series, Monsieur Smelly brings us the English Riviera series first fragrance by esteemed perfumier Arthur Daly, Bira de Londra. Centered around the charismatic opening accord of extra strong lager, as drunk on the streets of London, this enigmatic composition has mid notes of polyester symbolizing the well dressed Londoner's replica football shirt and nicotine symbolizing the office worker's cigarette break. In the base, we have an animalistic note reminiscent of the aroma of a tightly packed London underground train and the note of pimento chili peppers representing the sauce on the post pub kebab. Birra de Londra, eau de toilette. You will never forget it, however hard you try. Okay, so we all have things that we long for and lust after in life. And for me, it makes a nice change when they're not one of my friend's wives. So today I'm going to be talking about the top five fragrances that I am most wanting to get. They're my next on my purchase list, the ones I've got samples of. I really like them and I really want to buy them as soon as I can. Let me know what your favourite ones that you're really longing for are. I know uh, with this fragrance game, uh, most of us have always got at least one or two on the radar that we're really desperate to get next, and for whatever reason we, we haven't got the money together, we haven't quite got around, it, around to it. So it's always interesting to hear in the comments below your most wanted fragrances. So here come mine. So coming in at number five, we've got Givenchy Gentleman Only Intense. So I've got a little sample of here and this is a really nice fragrance and one that I might not have uh, thought would be all that interesting but I did try it in the shops one day and I was really surprised at how pleasant this one is for a reasonably good designer fragrance kind of price I haven't talked much about the house of Givenchy up until now but I'm going to today so Givenchy gentleman only intense it's a flanker of Givenchy gentleman only um, the notes in this one we've got mandarin oil black pepper Birch leaf, patchouli, cedar, leather, tonka, amber, and incense. So lots of interesting notes there. And basically, you can kind of guess from what you've heard there. There's a little bit of freshness in the beginning with the mandarin, but mainly it's a really spicy, peppery kind of scent that is um, quite alluring and make a great nighttime scent, I think, any time of year. So let's smell it. It's absolutely wonderful. It's really nicely balanced, spicy, sweet scent at first but it does dry down to be rather a dry woody kind of scent in fact and that birch leaf note is definitely in there and I found this to be a really charming kind of scent that I would wear in, in cold weather particularly probably in the evening although you could wear it in the daytime in cold weather so I've been really uh, charmed by this little fragrance here and I actually the thing that it reminded me a little bit of is uh, I don't think they have that many shared notes but it just put me a little bit in the mood of Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de L'Homme performance and longevity on this one and the two times I've worn it have been pretty good so if you like La Nuit de L'Homme and things like that with a little bit of spiciness in there um, this could be a really good one to try. Givenchy, gentlemen only, intense. Moving on then, number four in my list, uh, and they're in no particular order. I guess maybe the, the top one is going to be definitely the one I'm most keen to buy next, but this one's uh, really, really good. It's a new one for me, a new house, Art de Parfum, and the fragrance is called Gin and Tonic Cologne. This is a, a house in, based in London in the UK. They've got five fragrances and uh, I've got a sample of each one. And this one is the one that has uh, amazed me the most, although the others are really good too. Um, so uh, yeah, Art de Parfum, Gin and Tonic Cologne, the uh, link to all these uh, fragrances, information about them in the description below. Let's check it out now. Of course, it's called Gin and Tonic Cologne, so we expect it to smell like a gin and tonic. And that is exactly what it does. Uh, and that's the thing I love about this one. There have been a few other fragrances out there with a gin and tonic theme, uh, Aqua de Parma, Jeanette Pro de Sardinia, and uh, even Dunhill Icon's got a juniper note in it. And they, they both have nice fresh openings, but then they go in slightly different directions with sort of woodiness and, and other things going on. But this one, I've worn it about twice and tested it on paper a lot. It just stays like a gin and tonic, really amazing, fresh, invigorating, zingy smell, and it lasts for ages. It's extract de parfum, so it's a higher concentration even than eau de parfum, uh, second only to pure parfum in terms of strength. So you can get uh, 50 ml of this, I think, for 88 pounds, so it's a niche fragrance, and when you consider that's extract de parfum, it's a very, very reasonable price for niche fragrance, and I've really enjoyed this one. Then some of the notes we've got in here is, we've got lemon, we've got juniper, berry we've got some incense and some cedar wood so it stays on the skin a really long time it's very fresh
fresh and invigorating and it just captures that feeling of a gin and tonic although you know the, the, you don't have to necessarily think about a gin and tonic if you're just looking for something different in terms of a fresh invigorating scent I've been really in, in, impressed with this one and I'm really keen to get it it's, it's on my purchase list because I love those kind of fresh scents and it's a bit different to the typical aquatic ones or the citrus ones or the Roli Portofino I don't drink a lot of um, spirits but occasionally I do have a gin and tonic and this does remind me when I did go out to a bar and have a couple of gin and tonics along with the uh, numerous other things this does conjure up that scent memory of um taking my first sip of that gin and tonic i only wish i had a, a memory of what happened after that but that's another matter so for extract of parfum strength a long lasting freshy that's different gotta say that's a re i really love it really intrigued by this one Okay, next up on my wish list, another one I've got a sample on that I've really enjoyed and that I wanna get really soon. This one is an inexpensive one, it's Bulgari's Aqua Amara. So I know we've, we've heard probably a lot about this on YouTube. Quite a few people have reviewed it and said nice things about it. So I wasn't too caught up in the hype, but I did get a sample from a friend and uh, I was interested to try it, but I wasn't expecting anything too great. But what did I find? What I found is, in my experience, one of the best fresh citrus designer scents out there. It's got really good longevity. I've worn it a couple of times and it opens with mandarin. You've got some um, neroli oil in there as well. Uh, there's actually incense and patchouli also in there. But the overall uh, uh, impression you get is one of these sort of aquatic fresh scents, but with a little bit different going on there. And the mandarin orange kind of thing really sticks around, but with a little bit of bitterness as well. And I think the name does actually mean, uh, Aqua Amara means bitter water. And that's what you get. So for a fresh aquatic scent, if you're bored of Aqua Di Gio, uh, if you've got maybe got Versace Pour Homme and you like that, but you want something different, this one really is superb. I can see it being a real great compliment getter, just because it's so likeable. It's got manly freshness absolutely streaming out of the atomizer. I think it could be really popular. So I'm, I'm really keen to get this one for a daytime scent and maybe for some warm weather nights out. Because I just know it will be popular and it is a little bit different and I haven't got anything from Bulgari yet. So Bul Bulgari Aqua Amara, I've seen the hype on the reviews. Wasn't taken in by it hugely. But having tried it, I do think it's a really nice scent that I want to get. Let me know, anyone who's got it, let me know how you like it. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about buying it. Next up, we've got another niche one, and this one's blown me away. Thanks very much to David Barnes for sending me a sample of this one. He's a friend on a Facebook group, and uh, he's sent me this sample, uh, Naxos by Zerzhov. So this one opens up with bergamot, lemon, and lavender in the mid. We've got jasmine, cashmeran, cinnamon, and honey. And in the base, we've got tobacco, tonka, and vanilla. So you get a fruity, fresh sort of opening, but it very quickly uh, comes up as being pretty sweet with a honey tobacco kind of note. People say it's sort of the niche version of pure Havan by Thierry Mugler. I quite like pure Havan, but this is way better. It's sweet, it's a little bit fruity, there's a little bit of freshness and it's just got that exquisite niche quality. So if you're looking for a sweet tobacco scent that's actually pretty versatile, you could wear it all year round, I think, actually, maybe not in absolutely hot weather because it's got that fresh sweetness. This is absolutely superb, so well blended, quite expensive, so I'll have to save my pennies up, but there is a place that I'm thinking of getting it, and that's a new website, um, Fragrance Samples UK, and that's run by Greg from the Greggy Boy 76 channel, who's done tons of absolutely fantastic video reviews over the years on his channel. So if he's starting up a company doing uh, fragrance samples, I know it's gonna be good, I know it's gonna be reliable. So I think if you want some of these niche ones, but you don't fancy shelling out a few, huge amount for a big bottle, you can get sort of 20 mils or something on that website, and that's the way I might go and uh, definitely worth checking that website out but Naxos by Zerzhov absolutely amazing one of my favorite niche scents that I've sampled so far and uh, for the cold weather it would be an absolute winner I'm really looking forward hopefully to getting some of this as soon as possible let me know if anyone's tried it and if you agree with me or not last but not least so coming in at number one the one I'm, I'm really desperate to buy as soon as I've got a, a, sm a little bit of money spare for this one I'm going to be buying it it's Gorse by Laboratory Perfumes. So I've got this wee little sample here. It's just one of these dabbers and I've used most of it up so I'm just gonna sniff from the top of the lid there. 
So gorse is a plant that grows in England and has a smell very similar to coconut, which might give you a clue what this smells like. I don't know if it's supposed to be a clone, but having tried Virgin Island water on a recent visit to a department store, Creed's Virgin Island water, this smells very, very similar. It's so similar, it's uncanny. And I've worn this three or four times and the performance is great. And Virgin Island water is supposed to have poor performance. This is an eau de toilette. I think it's 60 pounds for 100 mil. Again, it's a niche house, a British house. So Gorse by Laboratory Perfumes, I think is a stunning uh, fragrance when if, if you like Virgin Island Water by Creed. It's very, very similar and uh, the longevity seems really good and projection, so it's quite strong, uh, or at least for the type of scent that it is. So you've got some, some kind of um, lemon notes, some citrus in the opening. I think there's some cardamom in the base and that gorse note is effectively gonna smell a bit like uh, coconut. So a really pleasant, well-blended scent for summer weather or hot weather, but you could wear it all year round in the daytime, absolutely for sure. So gorse, Laboratory Perfumes, another top one on my uh, most wanted list. Thanks very much for joining me and let me know in the comments below what your most wanted fragrances are and perhaps which of the ones I mentioned you're most interested to see me review a full bottle of. And as ever, remember, whatever we're doing in life, let's project.